Hello and welcome back to Daily Directions. We're now on the last hurdle of the final three. So we're going to be looking at this really nice burger menu. So jumping over to Webflow, let's lay down our first div. <clears throat> we're going to drop a div in. We're going to call this menu parent one. Um, we're going to set this to relative. And then for the moment, we're going to leave it as it is. What we're going to do is we're going to drop in a div. We're going to call this um, menu bar one. We're going to give it a width of 100%. We're going to give it a height of two pixels. We're going to put some margin bottom on it. 10 pixels will do. And we're going to sit a background color. Now what we need to do is we need to go to the menu parent and we need to set a width on this. So 50 pixels um, should do. And then what we're going to do is we're going to Apple C, Apple V, Apple C, Apple V. Now we have our three bars. Now what we need to do is we need to make sure that this hit area is big enough. Um, at the moment obviously it is. Um, but these bars feel a little bit too long. So what we're going to do is we're just going to hold the shift button and we're going to put some padding on it. I think 10 could be enough. Let's just have a little look. I think 10 is a good amount. What we're also going to do is we're going to put a height on this as well now. Just have a look. Let's just make sure that that, that hit area is, is, is equal. You know, it's equal on all of the sides. So if we have a look now we are pretty good. Now I think, to be honest, we're probably a little bit too big on the margin bottom, so let's just reduce that a bit. There we go, and now we can reduce the size a touch. And now we have it. So we have a really nice hit area. Um, and then what we need to do on this menu parent as well is just set this to overflow hidden. And that will help us when we go to do our animation. So now we've built out that burger menu, what we can do is we can start to animate. So the first element trigger that we're going to put on this is a click. And we're going to call this 07. And we're going to call it menu button. And then what we're going to do is we need to think about the logic of this. So first on the click, the bars go down, then they rotate and the other one moves out. So let's grab the top bar. We want to do a move. We want to make sure that this is on selected element. Again, put this on the initial state. Make sure we're on zero. And then we want to move. We want to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think that's right. Nine. And we want to do an ease. We also want to grab the bottom one. We want to do the same. Again, make sure that it is on selected element. We want to move. Oh, let's just make sure that we're on zero for the initial state. And then we want to move up, should be 9, should be, but you never know, so let's just put these on an ease, let's bring the time down to 3, let's just have a quick look, oh, ok, so that was that was wrong, um, maybe that should be minus 9, there you go, should be minus 9 um, to go up, so I got that wrong, let's just do that again, great, and let's just go back to the example, Right, okay, so then we've got a move in that middle bar. So let's just grab the middle bar, do a move again, make sure it's on selected element. We want to do a zero, so we want to move it left or right. You can move it whatever way you want, but I think going out to the right is a better way. Then we want to go to the part where we're going to do a move out, and then all we're going to do is we're just going to move this out. 50 pixels. Now what we need to do, I think it was just a slightly bit bit delayed, so we want to select the top and the bottom bar, which are them two, and we're just going to put a delay of 0 0.2 on now, and let's just make sure we're on an ease and we're on the same timing. 
Let's just have another look. Great, it's perfect. Let's just have another look just to make sure. Yep, looks good to me. And then what we need to do is we need to select one of the bars, the top or the bottom, doesn't matter. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the initial state, we're gonna put a rotate on here, I'm gonna start it on zero. Then we're gonna come off of this animation onto the next one. And we're gonna do a rotate, I'm gonna go 45, right? Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna select the next bar, I'm gonna go back to the start, we're gonna do a rotate, put it on zero, and go to this point as well, and then we're gonna do the opposite way. Oh, 45, we're select these two, so select these two, again we're gonna put it on an ease, all three, let's just check. Beautiful. We've already got that, which is nice. So I'm just going to go back to the reference, just to have a little look. Looks about the same kind of speed, which is great. So now we've already created that first click. And now we need to just do the second click. So we're going to go on the second click, start animation. Duplicate this, select it. Now we need to work out the logic again. So we can, I believe, just delete these ones for the moment. And then we need to take all of these off the initial state, put them on 0.3, put them on ease. So the first movement that is going to happen is going to be a rotate. Then we're going to do the move. So let's select the moves and put them on 0.2. Now let's just test to see, oh, there you go. And that is pretty much it. It's as simple as that. And that is how you create this unique burger menu. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to like and hit that subscribe button. And I'll look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.